Murals, like the ones you can see behind me here in El Paso, Texas, are more than just paintings on walls. Murals are a form of public art that has been utilized throughout much of human history to tell stories that are often political or spiritual in nature. Murals are particularly significant here in North America and can be found anywhere from Costa Rica to Canada and have played an important role in social movements of the 20th century such as the Mexican Revolution and the Chicano movement of the 60s and 70s. Muralism is one of the oldest art forms dating back to when our ancestors would paint images of daily life on cave walls. Modern murals in North America date back to the 3rd century when Mayans used them to depict important events in their history. The best preserved Mayan murals can be found in Bonampak, Mexico. Bonampak is the modern Mayan word for painted walls, and this ancient site is testament to the long and rich history of this style of artistic expression. Well, muralism is relatively modern um, in terms of like the history of art, but when we look at the grand scheme of the entire picture of art, humans have been painting on walls since we were first, you know, coming out of you know um, the Ice Age civilization. Some of the earliest works of art are depicted on caves, and you can consider those muralism. So there's always been this innate primal urge to kind of depict, put messages, whether it be for survival, telling a story or documenting history. It's, you know, it's a thousand year tradition. After the arrival of the Spanish to Mexico in the 16th century, muralism became an agent of evangelization. Mayan murals were painted over and the new murals were used to coerce the indigenous people into accepting Catholicism and the art form stagnated. It wasn't until the Mexican muralists of the late 19th and early 20th century that this art form returned to its roots. The Mexican muralists saw the potential and reach of muralism and used the murals to unite the common people and encouraging the public to resist the oppression and whitewashing of the dominant class. Murals are one of the most accessible forms of art. They can be found in public spaces that often receive a lot of human traffic and you do not need access to a gallery or museum to observe these pieces. Their accessibility has played a pivotal role in their importance to minority communities all throughout North America. They often exalt members of the community and can be enjoyed by anyone, regardless of financial status or levels of literacy. Works of art are public and what greater surface than you know, a wall or an interior, an exterior wall. Um, so when we look at the artwork in, in, in terms of history, after the fresco painting, uh, canvas kind of became the new norm and people were painting on stretch canvas. and muralism and fresco paintings kind of died out because it's really, really uh, difficult. You have to work with plaster, it gets wet. Um, so that kind of went away and then it kind of got lost to history and was still kind of kept up tradition in the art schools and in the schools of art. But it wasn't really until the Mexican muralist that muralism became, again, um, high art. Uh, muralism ended up being the art form for marginalized communities, people of color, uh, this is a way to spread messages, you know, for political ideology, uh, revolutions, you know, sp being able to spread mass messages quickly was through murals. Um, so the artists like from Mexican muralism, like Diego Rivera, Cisqueros, Orozco, took that and brought it back to what its roots were, and it was kind of high art, being able to spread messages of communism, but mainly uh, making connections to their indigenous roots and the history of Mexico and colonization and science and where they saw the community going in the future, right? So Mexico always has this amazing ability to take an art form that is archaic and old and give it new life and then people go and study from it. So people from all around the world actually would go to Mexico and learn from the Mexican muralists. Murals in El Paso can be traced back to the Chicano movement of the mid 20th century. The Chicano movement combated structural racism and sought to empower minority communities by rejecting assimilation. This movement was spearheaded by individuals such as Cesar Chavez and Dolores Huerta. Murals played an important part in this movement as they helped to disseminate the messages of the Chicano leadership and embrace the indigenous heritage of Latin people. As far as uh, El Paso's art scene, the muralisms date back here all the way to like the Chicano movement. Mm -hmm. You know, Lincoln Park was where we see more of the hub of where realism really was in El Paso. Um, those are some of the earliest activists. Um, the El Paso Museum of History really did a great um, exhibition that kind of documented the histories of the different groups, the car community, the car culture, lowrider, all of that that's ingrained in the identity of what it is to be Chicano, what it is to be El Paso, you know, the word Chuco, Pachuco, that whole culture is really in the fabric of what it is to be an El Pasoan. Um, and that spread from different barrios, like every, I mean, most famously Segundo Barrio, right, original, as El Paso's grown, 
but every barrio, barrio has had its landmarks, uh, whether it be um, what they call more of the graffiti, a placa, you know, a, someone identifying their neighborhood, their gang, these neighborhoods. Everyone's always had like an iconic landmark that was public art that was done by someone that was considered a vandal, but was really, you know, a street artist um, and that evolution. Uh, so even in Segundo Barrio, you've had the original murals and then as muralism has now grown from all of that movement, you have the new murals that are being commissioned by the city of El Paso, like MCAD, where we have uh, people paint all, all these amazing murals. And even in that area too, on Cotton and Texas, uh, where you have the Borderland Jam, where it's like the street art community invites all of these graffiti art or artists, whether the writers or muralists, um, they come and do murals in all, all those big warehouses. So the street scene, the art scene right now, look, you're seeing this beautiful moment where everything's kind of mixed here in El Paso. It's getting its respect. Every year during Chuck the Block, they have the, the, the walls are repainted and covered and then give them new life with new artists that they select and someone curates that and they invite different artists to do their own vision. So um, murals are always just, you know, art for the public that's accessible to everyone. So next time you see a mural, stop and take a look. Consider the intentions of the artist, the history of the art form, and the significance to the community in which the mural is located.